Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to test if a computer that is less than 15,000 pesos is already enough for our basic computer needs like work from home, online school, web browsing, watching movies or videos and especially gaming. We are not talking about a brand new computer but instead a second hand computer which is commonly available on Facebook marketplace. And one of the reasons we are going secondhand is that we try to build a new system or a new computer and it will cost us at least 15,000 pesos without the monitor. And on top of that, it is an entry-level processor. While the one we purchase at Facebook Marketplace is the HP Prodest 600 G5. This one have an i5 9500T, 6-core, 6 6-thread 6 CPU with UHD 630 graphics, 8GB of RAM, 500 gig of HDD or 120 gig of SSD. But for us, we opted for the 120 gig of SSD for it is much faster compared to the 500 gig of hard disk drive. And this costs us at around 8,500 pesos. And for the mouse and keyboard, it is brand new. We purchased it by Lazada at around 1,050. And for the monitor, it is a second-hand monitor, the Asus PG24, around 4,500. And the total would be around 14,050. And we still have around 950 to spare if we want to add a webcam or a USB Wi Fi adapter. And this is mostly what I want. But if you are really on a tight budget, I think I saw some uh, placement or ads on Facebook Marketplace that they're selling a bundle or a complete set for 11,500. But for that one, I really don't like the monitor. It is the 19 inches, the old model, the square type. I really don't like that experience for a monitor. So for me, I'd rather get the Asus monitor, the 24 inches, but this is completely up to you. But total, all in all, in less than 15,000, you can have a computer setup. And let's try to check if this is actually a working or a good computer for that price range. For day-to-day -day work like browsing, online shopping, Lazada, Shopee, Salora, and everything, watching YouTube 4K resolution, everything works fine. Everything is working okay, smooth, and no problem at all. And we even try to play a 4K movie like the video that we shot earlier. It is also working as well. We even try to load Microsoft Office, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and everything is running smoothly as well. No issue with that one. The only issue is that we are not able to purchase a webcam that is less than a thousand pesos due to time constraint but we have tested the asus webcam c3 it works well with this computer and the only issue that i'm not including that one on this video or on the total uh expenditure that we have is that is actually more than two thousand pesos and way out of the fifteen thousand budget that we have set and now let us try to go with Adobe Premiere or video editing. Uh, with Adobe Premiere, everything still works okay, but if you are working with a 4K video footage or heavy on effects or a lot of effects, the system might slow down and your video might take longer to complete. And guys, adding more RAM will help us as we only have 8 gig of RAM on this computer. And for checking with Adobe Premiere website, it is recommended to have at least 16 gig of memory or more for HD media and at least 32 gig of RAM for 4K and higher. And for Photoshop, easy easy. It works, it has no issue for that one. And now for gaming. For CSGO, I really don't like the idea of playing it on ultra low settings or low settings. So we have set it to medium settings for now. Window type and we have a 720p resolution. But unfortunately, we are only getting around 16 to 26 FPS. And actually, that is not a good result. It is terrible for the gaming experience. While for Dota 2, it is not playable as well for the loading time. It takes a while and even on the actual game, we try to move to the jungle and there is lag and stutter everywhere. So it is not a good gaming experience for the Dota 2 as well. And we even tried Fall Guys and it is also not playable low fps and everything is not working accordingly so basically most games with good images or uh, heavy graphics or 3d will not be a playable experience with this machine but there are still games that you can actually play with this one like uh, web browser games 
uh, 2D games like Plants vs. Zombies, Axi, Kawaii, Sleeper.io, and many more browser-based games. And if you really want to play CSGO for Guys or Dota 2, I think adding more RAM will help, but watch out for that one. We will be creating a video for that one if we will be adding an additional 8 gig of RAM if the performance will increase and we will have a better gaming experience for that additional memory. And basically, those are the most common things that we usually do on our computer. And for the verdict, if you are a heavy gamer and likes competitive games or graphics intensive game or heavy graphics or 3D, this is not the machine for you. For there is no room for improvement or adding an additional graphics card for this chassis is small and there is no additional PCIe lanes. And if this is intended for your work from home, online school, basic photo or video editing, definitely it is a good choice. Especially this is actually small, good looking for me. It's actually minimalist style. I really like this one, but actually guys, it is really hot when you're on a heavy task, but not to the point that it will automatically shut down. It is bearable. And guys, always remember that this is a second-hand unit. Be careful with dealing on, with online sellers on Facebook for some or most are scammers. Try to check if the rating or feedback or if they offer warranty or if they have a store or a house where you can pick up the unit. So in case there are any issue with the unit, you can actually meet them or return the unit on their house or store. Because I believe guys that this is our hard-earned money and we really want to save a lot. That's why we're buying a second-hand computer. So please don't be scammed by these online sellers and be very cautious. And I think that will be all. I hope you like the video and it is helpful if you're trying to get a second hand or a budget computer for your basic needs or basic computing needs. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. And if you have comments and suggestions, comment down below or message me at JK Chavez on Facebook. We'll try to answer as, as much as we can. And thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye.